and BTA will be putting an end to their late night transport services after a unanimous 4-0 vote by board officials. One student said he was not surprised by the MBTA's decision. I found that to be really disappointing, but not terribly surprising. The, the MBTA, for as long as I can remember, has just basically been a mess. Um, you know, it was really nice when they came up with the trial program to, you know, do late hours, but I don't know, you, you figured it was too good to be true. Expenses are also a concern for the student riders. Tea and bus fares can be as low as 2 to $3 for a single ride, while taxi cab companies charge per mile, in addition to adding a surcharge, depending on the time of night. My shift doesn't end until 11.45 or sometimes midnight, and I have to take the tea all the way from the JFK UMass stop to my apartment in Brighton. So if the tea's not running, then the Ubers in that location are usually around $20 or so, which is a pretty big inconvenience for me. In 2001, the MBTA attempted a similar idea with their bus service, but lasted only four years. Students, however, are keeping the faith and believe that the MBTA will work out any kinks that are preventing the service from running smoothly. I just f wish they'd figure out a way to make it to make it work. There's there's a way. There's I don't know what that way is, but it needs to somehow someone who's smarter than me needs to come up with it. Officials say the program was not cost effective and will discontinue on March 18th. For BUTV News, I'm Elizabeth Fitzgerald.